Hey guys, it's Amanda here from Faithfully Homemade, and today I'm going to show you activities that you can do to teach numbers up to 100. So number order and counting numbers to 100 um, and all those types of things. So this is actually um, unit four of my early learners math curriculum. And um, I have printed out the um, teacher's guide here. I printed all of the pages on one, so I made them all. You can, in your printer setting, I could do that. So I, I chose to print each, uh, each page on one sheet, because that's just for me. Then I have the reference charts here. These ones um, go to, uh, this page goes to 50 and then I have 51 to 100 and then I have like reference pages for each of the families so like the 20 family 30 family 40 family and so on you can see that um, so these are like reference charts that I will use with him as we're practicing counting um, each of the families and then um, I have a 100 page, so we can count by 10s, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So I have all of the reference charts in there. And then the next um, thing are the um, interactive worksheets for this unit. And so what he will do is like he will cut out the pieces and then he will have to glue the 20 family in order and so on. So I have the different families in there. And then um, there's also some pages for just counting. Now this is an apple count. So each of these 10 frames is 10. So he can count 10, 20, 30, 40. And then this would be six. So then he would color in the 46 right there. So anyway, there's just a couple of different, and this one's a spin and count, and then he'd write the number. So there's a couple of different um, interactive worksheets there. And then I have the um, unit test, which just kind of looks like this. So now let me show you the fun stuff. I'm going to show you the um, activity centers. This first activity is called, what number is it? So you get a number mat like this with some missing numbers, and then there's pictures um, in the missing number slots. And then what they're going to do is, um, there's some cards that look like this, and they have to take the card and look at the picture that's on the card. This one has um, a pizza, and then they look at their mat, and they look at the pizza, and then they have to write down the number that's missing. So what number would go in that spot? It would be 60. So they're gonna use their dry erase marker, and they're gonna write the number 60 on the line. Okay, and then they would go on to the next card. So the next card looks like this, so they would have to find that picture, and then they would write 58 for that one. Um, and they would go on until they've done all the cards. Now there's a couple different mats. This, this one that you saw was a pizza one. This one is um, a circus one, so then you would use the circus cards with that one. And then he's going to do the camping one, looks like this, and use the camping cards with that one. And then the cookout one looks like this, and then these would be the cards for the cookout um, number, missing number chart. The next one is number clip cards, and so they're just going to be counting by tens and ones. So here in this one, this little girl has um, ten, you see that, fingers. She's holding ten fingers up, and the other little girl is holding up two fingers. So this would be ten, twenty, thirty, forty, 52 and then what they would do is they're going to use you know either they're going to clip the 52 with a clip or use a manipulative and cover up 52 and they would go on to the next card there's so there's little kid cards holding up hands there's different ones this one is um, a, a kid juggling so it's 10 20 30 40 and then they have to count 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 so that one would be 48 they covered up. So there's just different ones in there. Um, this one is fish bowls. So they would count by tens with the fish bowls and then by ones. Um, this one is cookies. So they count 10, 20, 30, 40. You get the idea. And then they would put their number. This one is 10 frames. Um, let's see. This one is five across. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 3. So the answer whoop, there would be 23. So there's just different options. This one has um, jelly bean jars, so counting by tens and ones with jelly beans and finding the answer. And then this one, uh, these are um, flowers, so you, the petals on the flowers. So most of them have ten petals, and then that one has less than ten, so then they have to count by tens and ones to figure out what their answer was on that one. Okay, this next one <clears throat> is ordering numbers, and it's called order, order it numbers to 100 center. 
Now I like to use pocket chart with this, or I'm going to use pocket chart with this, but you don't have to. And what I have is I have cards for all of the different families. So this would be the 30 family, this would be the 90 family, this would be the 40 family, and each family has just a different theme. So like this one, the theme is um, flying, and this one the theme is donuts. This one is plants and flowers. Um, this would be like the 70 family. This is the 60 family. The 60 family is um, s'mores, so it's kind of cute. Um, the 80 family, you get the idea. So what they would do is you give them a family. So I'm gonna do the 20 family here for you. You give them the cards, and I would put, you know, this card up here just to say what it is. You don't have to use that card, but that one just says PB and J order at the 20 family. So this is peanut butter and jelly, and they have to put the cards in order. So they're just gonna go through here and they're gonna find 20. They're gonna put that one on there and then 21, and then 22, and so on. And they just have to order the um, family like so. And then they just keep on go in until they've ordered all of the cards and then if they do the 20 family good then they can do another family okay this next activity for counting to a hundred is practicing with um, a football theme so there are these cards that look like this they either have tally marks on them or they have dominoes on them and then the child has to count how many and then find the football that matches and put it uh, in the goalpost. So um, this one would be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58. So then they would find the 58 and they would place it on their card like that. Once they've done it correctly, they can go on to the next card and they would count the dominoes the same way and they would find the football that matches. Okay, so this next one, they're going to roll two dice well, first of all, it comes with these cards that look like this. Um, it's an ice cream theme. And then, um, by the way, I keep all of my activities in these um, plastic bags with the um, label on there so I can see what it is and it has the directions for me. So I always print that out and stick it on there. But um, that's beside the point. <laughs> okay, so what they're going to do is they're going to roll two die. So I rolled two die and I got the number 26. So I'm going to write 26 in the big circle. And then I'm going to go ahead and count on. So in the little circles, I count on. So I will write 27, 28, and 29. You get the idea. And then I could go on to the next card. I would roll again. And whatever. Whoop, I lost one of my die. dice. But whatever number I would get, I would write it here. And then I would count on with my dry erase marker. Then I can erase them and obviously use the cards again. Okay, this next one is um, number sorting and matching. So basically you get these these long strip cards like this and then you get number cards like, like this. What they're gonna do is they're gonna count the numbers. So they're gonna count 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 82. And then they're gonna look at the kids and they're going to make the number 82. So I'm gonna find a two. And I'm going to find the 8. There's the 8. And I made the number 82 on my map. So then I can go on to the next one. This one it has um, base 10 blocks. So I'm going to count by 10s and 1s. So it would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 67. And then I'm going to look for 67. So there's a 7. I'm going to go through here. And I'm going to try to find a 6 and put the six up there here it is and now i made the number 67 on my mat so then they could just keep on going there's a whole stack of those cards okay so the next one you've probably seen these before these are number strip puzzles okay and all of these ones i did apple themed just to you know just to kind of give it a little theme and what the children are going to do is they're going to um, put the numbers in order, obviously, and then it makes a puzzle. So here's 26, and here's um, 27. So the puzzle looks like this once it's completed, um, and they've ordered it all properly together. 
Okay, and this is the last activity center. This one is a cowboy theme. And what they're going to do is they're going to spin the spinner. If you don't have any of these kind of spinners, you can use a pencil and a paper clip. Um, I got these spinners off Amazon. They were really cheap. I came with a whole pack. And what they're going to do is when they spin, like this one, I spent, spin and it landed on 60. So I would do the 60 family. So I'm going to get my cards and I'm going to do the 60 family here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to order them. So I'm going to put them in order on the mat, like so. And then the kids are going to count them. So I'm going to order my 60 family, um, like so, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. So anyway, they're going to just take all the cards and they're going to put them in order. And I'm going to make the 60 family. Once I have the 60 family in order, I can spin again. And um, I can hopefully spin to a different one and do another uh, family. I have the cards for all the different families here. And then I'm going to order them. And the children, the children are going to order them and they're going to count them up. So that's the last one, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And um, if you have my, if you already own my... Uh, early learners math curriculum go on and download it again because I've added unit this unit unit four and it's complete so you can get all the activities and all of the um, worksheets and everything I showed you for free um, if you already purchased if you haven't already checked it out I'll leave a link below in the description box where you can um, check it out and I hope this video was helpful for you especially those of you who own the curriculum so you could kind of see the activities in action and how to do it and we will see you guys next time. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you have questions, leave them below. Bye.